this PET scan supposedly showed holes in her brain. It was a graphically manipulated image. It was totally fake. They just took every area that had um, below a certain amount of blood flow, they showed it as a hole. And it was completely dishonest. And what was even more incongruous was the woman whose brain it was, riddled with these holes that you could see in the image that they showed, was, was on the show. And she was walking and talking and she was fine. You know, you'd be dead if you had those kind of holes in your brain. But there are yeah. people today that still believe that uh, MDMA yeah, drains spinal fluid or MDMA causes holes in your brain. And so the neurotoxicity of MDMA was something that was used for quite a long time through the 90s as well as an argument to block research. Actually, there was a researcher, Franz Vollenweider in Switzerland, that had done brain scans for the first time with people, PET scans, before and after MDMA and found no evidence of, quote, holes in the brain or neurotoxicity at all. So then, let me just say, in the 90s, this idea of MDMA and serotonergic neurotoxicity was becoming increasingly discredited and time was going by and people were still looking fine. You know, the idea then finally became, oh, it's a time bomb theory that you... you have cognitive reserve and you can hurt your serotonin with MDMA and it doesn't show up until you get old. Now, meanwhile, a lot of old people in the 70s and 80s had taken MDMA, they were fine. And then things go along in the 90s and And now you're transitioned into running, you know, it, it, I mean, something that's fantastic, incredibly influential. Personally, you're out there like you're, I see you at the conferences now, you're like a rock star there. You're getting interviewed <laughs> over the major media. You know, you're not doing just the kind of, you know, drug policy podcast like mine, but the Joe Rogans and all the others. But I have to say for you, what the hell has this So the, the thing about MAPS that has been so delightful is that there's a two-pronged strategy. One is drug development, and that's you know going through the FDA, trying to make MDMA-assisted therapy for PTSD into an FDA-approved medicine, also approved in Israel, Canada, Europe, we're working in also Australia, Brazil, and, and elsewhere with humanitarian projects we're trying to start around the world. world, the world, 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 world. to all, all substances, 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 substances. Demons be gone. Be gone, demons. Be gone. Leave this studio! <laughs>